from an all-electric water taxi, self-propelled electric surfboards, a portable lightweight personal water scooter, and your own personal submarine. Welcome back everyone to Futurelicious, where we bring you the latest innovations, technology, and gadgets. Bubbles is a flying boat startup that uses electric power instead of gas. This innovative boat design combines technology from nautical industries and aviation and intelligent software to raise the hull of the boat out of the water using foils, which helps it consume less energy by allowing it to travel on rougher waters with reduced drag, while also keeping the passenger cabin relatively comfortable. The Sea Bubbles is a way for cities to reduce traffic congestion and help the environment by taking advantage of the area's waterways to move people around in fast water taxis. Using an all-electric design, the boat charges at a power station instead of guzzling gas. The boat has three main sensors. It has two high-altitude sensors to measure the height of the water. Then it has a gyroscope like the one used in cell phones. The computer combines those measurements from the sensors. Then it knows the angles of the boat, the height, and the speed. The lift e-foil allows riders of all levels to experience flight over almost any body of water at up to 25 miles per hour. No waves or towing required. The e-foil uses a state-of-the-art lithium-ion battery, a hydrodynamic, torpedo-designed electric propulsion unit along with custom electronics. It also features a high-performance carbon fiber board and hydrofoil to give users the ultimate smooth and responsive riding experience. The e-foil uses an advanced, high-energy density lithium-ion battery to power a silent electric motor in the hydrodynamic torpedo design, all of which is controlled with a wireless Bluetooth hand controller. Since the e-foil is electric, noise is eliminated and maintenance becomes incredibly easy compared to gas engines. Not only can you ride the powered boat on nearly any surface of water, you can rise up on the hydrofoil to literally fly above the water for an incredible experience. A SeaWorld Turbo Scooter is a streamlined sea scooter that helps water enthusiasts feel safe in the briny deep. The SeaWorld Turbo is designed with an innovative, low-power main control chip and an inbuilt 500-watt drive power that ensures a much faster start compared to regular water scooters. Users will be able to start the scooter and scoot off for a free ocean ride in only just two seconds. It also stands out with its advanced three-gear speed it will start immediately once the user presses both triggers down. To quickly speed up, one simply has to double click with the right hand and it will instantly raise by one gear. It's equally simple when one has to slow down a bit. The user will double click with his left hand and immediately the speed will drop down by one gear. The gear can be adjusted as per the specific needs of the user in a fast or low water flow. Subblue White Shark is a compact, airplane cabin friendly underwater scooter fitted with two propellers. It can be used in two ways. When fitted with its floater, it maintains positive buoyancy and can take your snorkeling game to another level. But if you wish to fully explore the underwater universe, then it's best to remove the floater and add a new twist to your scuba diving or free diving experience. The scooter is just 8.3 inches long, 9 inches wide, and 9 inches high. It can take you to a depth of 40 meters, that's around 131 feet, and can be fitted with an action camera that isn't included in the standard pack. The camera mount, however, is compatible with most of the action cameras on the market, so fitting a GoPro example should turn out a hassle-free operation.
Widgetworks Airfish 8 is an 8 to 10 seater craft with a 17 by 15 meter footprint. It is designed to be operated by two crew members and has a capacity for 6 to 8 passengers. The Airfish 8 is 56 feet long with a reverse delta wingspan of 49 feet and a carbon fiber reinforced plastic body to help keep weight down. It uses a 500 horsepower V8 car engine running on regular unleaded fuel to drive two mid-mounted pusher props in front of a large T-tail. It seats six to eight passengers plus baggage and two crew and is simple enough to fly that pilots can get certified for the Airfish in less than regular time for a pilot's license. The range is around 345 miles with a top speed of just 120 miles per hour and a cruising speed of just 92 miles per hour. The Zapata Flyride is a two-seater device that looks like the shell of a small quad bike. It attaches to just about any jet ski using a tailored hose and jet capture system, and the water runs up the middle of the bike and is forced out through twin steerable jets at the front. Plugged into a 300 horsepower jet ski, it'll take up to 440 pounds of rider and passenger. It features self-balancing tech, a set of internal sensors and computers that micro-adjust to keep the bike upright whatever the rider's doing, so it should be a very accessible experience that most people can enjoy. It also has a barrel wall button that becomes active once you've got enough altitude. Pressing it spins you widely around before returning you to vertical. Capritec EasyGoat is an affordable and easily transportable electric hydrofoil option costing less than half that of the leading brands in the current market. The lithium-ion battery has a runtime of 50 minutes when fully charged. The Capritec electric hydrofoil is made with a carbon-proof inner board and a 31-inch aircraft aluminum mast. This board clocks a maximum speed of 22 miles per hour, foiling from 10 miles per hour. The Cabotec EasyGoat electric hydrofoil is a good option for the experienced electric vehicle junkie looking for a new toy and to save some cash. The design of the EasyGoat electric surfboard is simple. Its main components are an inflatable board, internal rigid frame with electronics, and a battery and a hydrofoil. The Gibbs Quad Ski is an amphibious quad bike slash ATV. It can go from kicking up dirt on a rocky off-roading trail to cutting up some serious waves in a matter of seconds. The Quad Ski has the ability to transition between land and water in about 5 seconds due to seamless wheel retraction. With the press of a button, the wheels retract into the wheel wells within the vehicle's body and detaches them from the drivetrain. Featuring a top speed of 45 miles per hour on both land and water, the quad ski is also equipped with a state-of-the-art marine jet propulsion system. While the quad ski's range on land is up to 370 miles, it also allows for over two hours travel time on water. On water, the quad ski uses a stone guard protected intake, which draws in water before directing it through the engine-driven impeller. The steering nozzle at the quad ski's rear directs the vehicle via the handlebars. Quadfoil Q2S is an electric two-seater personal watercraft that propels marine transportation using highly advanced naval technology. Often referred to as the wings, the foils are based upon thoughtfully designed C-shaped hydrofoils that can glide on the surface of the water at over 6.5 knots. The Q2S rises up to 40 km an hour, cutting through the waves with ease and precision. Through refining the initial quadrifoil prototype, each part of the hydrofoil has been crafted to follow the natural flow of water, providing optimum stability, control, and efficiency. Quadrifoil is 100% electrically powered by a very reliable industry standard battery with an integrated battery management system. It delivers exceptional performance and plenty of excitement without releasing any emissions. Sea Breacher is a two-seat, semi-submersible, percival watercraft. With a shape based on that of a dolphin and the ability to imitate a dolphin's movement, it can dive, cut through waves, 
and jump out of the water. The engine gives the Sea Breacher a top speed of 50 miles per hour on the surface and 25 miles per hour submerged. The acrylic canopy and underwater viewports give the pilot and passenger a near 360 degree view as they fly through the water at breathtaking speed. The Sea Breacher pilot controls the fins and vector thrust using a pair of control sticks and a set of pedals. The Sea Breacher can dive 5 feet for short durations and leap into the air at 12 feet and do bear rolls, among other tricks. The Sea Breacher can sustain high speed dives and then breach the surface, launching the entire vessel clear out of the water. The newly fully vectored thrust system mimic the tail articulation of real aquatic animals like sharks and dolphins. The future can't come soon enough. Which of these are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Click the bell so you don't miss out on our latest videos. We can't wait to bring you more from the future.